All right. A word about radiators. I'm so bugged about radiators because I changed them. The old radiators were all metal. All metal. And, and were usually like all brass or all copper or brass with copper on top. And they were wonderful. Because you could take them to the radiator guy and, 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 or a welder and go, hey, I got a leak in this. And, and leave it there for the day. And go back and pick it up and pay them about 40 bucks to work on the thing. And you come up there and it looked like you had a brand new radiator. And I watched a guy one time uh, do this to a radiator I had in a Camaro that I owned, a 77 Camaro. And uh, he would take, the, he'd look at it it's all over the outside and look down the holes. And then he'd wash it out with a garden hose. And then he'd put like acid or something through the inside, some kind of cleaner uh, and then dump that out, and then he would dip it in a tank, um, like a big oil barrel that had chemical in it, and let it soak for a little bit, and then he would take it out, and then he would, uh, see where he could see where it was leaking or whatever, mark those spots, and then he would weld on it, and then he would dip it again, and then he would let it dry out, and then he would spray paint it and hand it back to you for like 40 or 60 bucks. And go, okay, it should be all right. And those old radiators, they last the lifetime of the car. Or many lifetimes of the car. Um, they were wonderful. Just as long as you put the proper water in there and proper antifreeze cooling in there. Um, or you made sure you had antifreeze cooling in there. Um, because they would rot out. It would ruin them. They would rust out, rot out, and, and corrode and get all trashed out if you just put regular tap water in there. And um, they just lasted forever. They were wonderful. They were always repairable unless you just abused them and never used antifreeze cooling in them and put wrong water in them and just rusted them to death. And they just you just had to buy a new one. They were really costly. And the newer radiators, they just fall apart. They're not made to last, not for nothing. And they make them out of aluminum. All this inside part will be aluminum, and then the sides are plastic, and they glue the plastic on, and then they crimp it. They'll crimp this stuff on, okay? They'll take this box off, and they glue it and crimp it, and put that stuff on, but that sucker always breaks, and you just really have to end up buying a new radiator. And, and that's nothing less than $200 a shot. And then you got to pay somebody to take it out and pay somebody to put it in. And some of the newer cars are really a nightmare to put in. It's cheaper to take them to the dealer and let it do, let them do it for $500 because you're going to hate it. Especially on the newer Cadillacs. Oh, you're going to hate it. After 1999, you will hate putting a Cadillac radiator in. Um, the, uh, you know, you used to be able to use in the old radiators, you could use, you know, Stop leak like pepper or golden seal, you know, or some people would use stop leak, which is a rubbery crap that goes all through the radiator and the houses and the engine and clogs everything up and it's trashy. And they just keep adding it instead of fixing the problem. The mechanic in the can usually doesn't solve anything. It just makes it worse. It's a temporary fix. Um, and uh, I, I've heard of people using JB Weld to fix these and condensers and stuff. Um... Really, you just really need to buy a new one. Um, so, what I think about the new radiators, I hate them. I wish they'd go back to metal ones or give you an option to buy an all metal one like they used to use that lasted forever, lasted longer than the lifetime of the owner of the car, lasted <laughs> the whole entire lifetime of a car. They were wonderful. Love them. Um, but, you know, they figured that, well, today, they're lighter and cheaper to make, but they don't last, and they're very delicate, and, um, uh, they just, I think it's really bad, really poor design, you know, call those engineers. Anyway, that's what I think about radiators.